What is up, Drop Alert Nation? I'm your host. Need to great. Let's get right into the news. Hey guys. I know it's been a very long time since I posted. I've been busy with school, sports, and other stuff. But as promised, my map changer video got over 10 likes so I remade a updated version of it. Wow! Okay so what you will need is a model called lobby. Make sure there is a spawn point in your lobby. You will also need a folder called maps. In the folder, put all the maps you will have. For this video I am using 3. In each map make a folder and add a part in the folder. This part's position will be where all the players will spawn in. Finally, move the maps folder to server storage. Next, make a GUI. You can call this whatever you want but as you can see I named mine round system. Make sure to set reset on spawn off. In the GUI you will need a frame, text label, and a server script. In the server script, you will need a local script which you can name whatever. You will need 4 remote events as well, make sure to name these just like I did or the script will not work. Okay. Scripting review. I added a wait to make sure the script would load in after the character so nothing breaks. Then, add your variables. I used three maps so I had three variables. The maps are located in the server storage so you have to match each map with each variable. Next I made a function. Functions are similar to a variable but they contain an action under them. You have to make sure to call the function though. If you want I can do a video going further in depth. Anyways, in this function we made a math.random which means it picks a random number. Because I had 3 maps I made it go from 1 to 3. Make the amount of maps you have and the end number correspond. If you had 5 maps it would be 1 to 5 and so forth. So I used a if then statement to make sure that a Sertian action would happen for the random number chosen. It clones that specific map, and it also gets all players and teleports them. Do you remember that part I told you to put in each map to use as a spawn? Go back to that part and copy its position. Paste the position after the vector 3 and you should be good. In the function it fires a remote event called timer to the client. So in the local script for that event I made the timer. Seconds is the duration that your round is. As you see mine says 15 seconds so each round is 15 seconds long. When it reaches zero it fires a remote again back to the server called finished. Once you fire that remote to the server, it will teleport all the players to a point. Get your spawn points position which should be in your lobby. I put a wait for less lag. Then I fired a remote event to the client. In the client I made a function. That function would tween a frame and fired the finished lobby remote event to the server. So for the lobby timer remote event I added a timer for the lobby. Once that timer reached 0 the lobby to game function would run. Finally once the finished lobby event is fired to the server, it would just call on the random map function therefore creating this loop done. But Nate, you didn't show us how to add more than one map.
Finally, this felt like it took forever to edit lol. If you guys want a better updated version tell me in the comments and I would love to. Nah, f that. I'm going to sleep.